Hi, my name is Rosie Gill and I am the Director of Education at Milk Street and this is Milk Street at Home. So many of my students at our cooking school just skip salmon. They forget about it and I understand. The risk of overcooking or undercooking salmon is so big and so easy to fall into that they just avoid cooking it. I can teach you one technique, however, for ensuring that you cook salmon just the way you like it every time you cook it. All you need to remember is two zone cooking. What does that mean? It's a technique borrowed from grilling where you can have a hot side and a cool side of your grill. For indoor cooking, what that means is we're going to cook the salmon on one side over really high heat and get a nice deep browning and develop a lot of flavor. And then we're going to flip the salmon over and finish it over really low heat. How low? We're gonna take the pan off the burner and finish cooking the salmon in residual heat. By low heat, we mean no heat. What this does is this allows us the ultimate control over the temperature we cook our salmon to and the texture it has. And therefore we eliminate all risk so you can cook your salmon fearlessly. Dry your salmon really well and season it with at least salt. You can also add any dry ground spices, just black pepper, cumin, chili flakes, whatever's your preference. I'm just going to use salt and pepper today to keep it simple. Heat a non-stick skillet with one tablespoon of neutral oil like grapeseed or canola until the oil is shimmering and just smoking, which is hard because it's not yet smoking, but you want it hot just because it's non-stick. You don't want it to actually smoke. You can use a stainless steel or a carbon steel skillet. In that case, I would increase the oil to two tablespoons just for a little security. Add your salmon to the hot oil, flesh side down, and immediately turn your pan down to medium. That way you're going to get a sear because the pan is still hot, but you have a little protection about how fast the salmon cooks. You're gonna keep it in the pan for four to six minutes without touching it. As with all things you want to brown and develop flavor, don't touch it four to six minutes until it's opaque halfway up the side of the filet and it releases evenly from the pan and it has some nice browning. Once you've flipped your salmon with a nice brown crust, cover your pan and take it off heat. Move it to a cold burner and let it sit, depending on the thickness of your salmon, three to five minutes. We shoot for salmon cooked 120 to 125 degrees. That will have a little bit of translucence in the middle, which we prefer. The texture is really wonderful and it's completely safe to eat. Once your salmon's cooked, put it on a serving platter. You can use the pan to make a simple pan sauce. You could flake it instead and incorporate it into a salad. You could make a creamy sauce, whatever you like. Really the point is you have perfectly cooked your salmon. It was very easy and you had control. That two zone cooking means that the window from perfectly cooked to overcooked is much bigger than when you sear over high heat on both sides. So the two zone cooking, sear high, get browning, develop flavor, flip, cover, remove from heat, and in the residual heat, that's where you develop texture. You can now cook salmon fearlessly whenever you feel like having it for dinner.